Hey, it's Misty, and I wanted to play some more of this, and so I'm actually going to start a new game. Mm, yeah, yeah. But I'm not going to start a single-player game, even though I kind of want to, but at the same time, this is going to be a single-player playthrough. i just choosing multiplayer, because uh, I want to show you how to do something. I'm going to have to make a tutorial for that, too, aren't I, if I want to do that? Well, whatever. There is a way to make single-player games, uh, or multiplayer games, single-player games, for all intents and purposes, anyway. Uh, and that, and this. There it is. There we go. New game. Character create. I may skip character creation because it is a tedious process, but at the same time, it's part of the game. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'll show all the portraits. Pause if you... You'll see some of these in the game anyway. Pause if you uh, want to see a better detailed look at them. Oh, uh, starting here is new portraits for the Enhanced Edition. Some of these were actually in Icewind Dale games. I'm not sure if all of them were, but uh, definitely some of them. I have to be human for the class I want. Paladin. Cavalier. Uh, out of these options, I like either Cavalier or Undead Hunter. I don't like Blackguard because you have to be evil. And I don't like Inquisitor because... I'm not sure why I didn't like the Inquisitor. There was a reason I didn't. But I like the Cavalier mostly because it has immune to charm. So the enemy can't take over my character. There's a very good reason I want that. It's basically for grinding purposes. And man, my nose is stuffy today. Paladins have to be lawful good in this game. I'm going to do a few rerolls on screen. I want to get at least a 90, 92 would be nice. Let's see, come on. Yeah. Well, let's see what I can do with that 88 if I don't get it in like the next three rerolls. Yeah. Let's see, I need no intelligence whatsoever. Uh, I want strength, dexterity, constitution to all be at 18. Mm. I'd kind of like this to be at 15. And my strength is a little low. Uh, I'm going to store that for a minute. Come on. Give me a 90. Back in the day, when you did this, you had to look at the numbers individually and do this yourself. You didn't have this total down here. Actually, give me a second. I might not be recording the cursor, and I kind of need to. I'll be right back. Alright, I got a 90, and my, uh... Oh, Hmm, sorry about that. I had to cough. I got a 90 and my uh, cursor should be on the screen now. So like I said, I don't need intelligence because you don't really need this for anything. If you're uh, not a mage or some other class that uses intelligence. Uh, charisma, strength, dexterity, constitution. These are the four things you want for a paladin, and wisdom, you will need a little bit of that later. And I'm not even sure if you need it. 
Um, I know it's helpful in later editions, but I don't know if AD&D does the same thing where you're uh, the higher this is, the higher level of spell you can get. But at the same time, in this game, you probably can't get to a level of spells that allow you to or a level that allows you to get to spells anyway. I do know they increased the level cap from the original though. And this modifier is good. Alright, that's that's good for that. Skills, uh I can't use missile weapons, right? Well I'm not not really concerned about using missile weapons anyway. Uh I want bastard. Eh. The thing is, I want sword and shield style, and I want either long swords or bastard swords. But I don't know which one I want to start out with. There's a really good long sword early in the game. Well, kind of early in the game, but it's a pain in the ass to get. But there are also pretty easy to get plus one bastard swords early on. Bastard Swords do do more damage. Well, they kind of do the same damage, it's just Bastard Swords do more base damage, or minimal damage anyway. But that Long Sword is really good. There might be a Paladin exclusive Long Sword in this game, I don't know. I know there is a Nice One Dale, but this is Nice One Dale. Hmm. I'll just put one in each. I like two, but at the same. Mm. No, I'm just gonna go bastard swords for. Eh. I'll just put one in each, and when I get the ability, I'll put another one in the other one, and one of the two anyway. But uh, I'm basically gonna be the tank. Actually, should I? Nah, eh. that's not really a big deal. Whatever. Uh, anyway, uh, hair should be this color, skin should be fine, this should be this color, this should be this color. Done. And I like, here's a default. To battle! Yeah, default female sound. There we go. Done. And accept that. Now we're going to make one more character. Because I find finding a decent thief in this game kind of a pain in the ass. So, I'm just going to make one. Uh, oh, no. Oh, yeah. I'll show that one, that one, that one. That's the one I'm going to use. Starting here, they get new. New for the uh, Boulder's Gate series, anyway. They were in the Icewind, some of them. I know, like, the majority of the new ones were in the Icewind Dale series at some point. Did I pass it? Yeah, I passed it. There we go. Uh... I don't get any penalties for this. Multi-class, fighter thief. Now, the fighter thief is probably my favorite combination because they get decent enough uh, thief abilities and the extra fighter bonuses are really nice. Alternatively, I could just go pure thief, but eh. Yeah, you level up fast, but at the same time, it's kind of a pain in the ass because you're kind of frail. To start out with, anyway. Mm. Alignment. Chaotic good. Just because I always make him chaotic good. There's no real reason to make him chaotic good. 
not a lot of stuff in this game is dependent on your alignment. So I don't need intelligence and I don't need wisdom. And this, 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 and this. Uh, you get better than that. Yeah. I'm not like an 80. What I really should be doing is trying to get a 100 out of here, or a 1800 out of here. Oh, wrong one. I was about to say, what's... Now, these do affect something, intelligence and wisdom. If you have less than 10, I think it is, you'll get negative scores for one of your defenses. It's a uh, will, I think. And that can be pretty bad, but from what I've seen, I'll, it doesn't... I mean, yeah, it hurts, but at the same time, it, it's not game-breaking. I've gotten to the end of the game without really needing a high will. Or at least high will on characters that don't really need intelligence or wisdom. Here we go, I can get at least ten on him now. Let's hope his strength is somewhat decent. Oh yeah, that's 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 great. Not perfect, but certainly a lot better than it was. Come on. Where's my That's odd. But I had a nine in the other one. An eighty four on it. Oh well. <coughs> Is that a 94? That couldn't have been a 94, could it? Uh, no, it would have been a 90. Weird. I probably had a stat that was wrong. But this is fine. This is fine. Skills of pickpockets I don't use because not many things in this game have stuff worth pickpocketing. Open locks is pretty much the only thing I take. Well, not the only thing. I actually need to spin this a bit evenly into fine traps and open lock. Actually, fine traps at 30, open lock at 50, I want. Because uh, I can get someone with the fine trap spell, which does the same thing. It's just kind of a pain in the ass to not be able to do it whenever you want. Move silently, hide in shadows. Helpful sometimes, not all the time. Pickpockets, like I said, meh. Detect illusion? I don't know if that's actually useful in this game. It is in the sequel, Boulder's Gate 2. Set traps? Uh, set traps is probably more useful than I give it credit for, because I never use it. You know what I'm going to do? Because open locks is so useful, I'm... Yeah, I'm just going to take it up to 65, and I will just use the fine trap spell on the character I'm getting later. I'll also get another character that's... I'll probably use for a little while, and then not use her much. Because she fulfills two roles, and neither one I really want. I'd like a this character for my thief and another one for my mage. That's fine. Um, hmm. Well, despite him having an archer's picture, I actually want to go with two weapon style and long swords. And actually, just one long sword and I'd put one in katana because they do a lot of damage, but it's hard to get katanas early in the game. Because they're so expensive early in the game. And there's like one place you can get them. And I haven't really found a magic katana in the enhanced edition. Not in the original content, anyway. Uh, so, longsword and... Where is it? No. It's somewhere around here. No. Longsword, short sword. Where's short sword? Wasn't changed to shorts. 
Oh, there it is. I'm blind as a bat. Man. Appearance. No, that should be brown. Uh, everything else is fine. I like male three for this guy. Death will come swiftly over oh, you. Male three, not female. <laughs> Time for a bit of the rough and tumble. Ha <laughs> ha! I'll lead him well. Wait a minute. I think I did his stats wrong. I am sorry I'm doing this. Uh, half elf. Multi class fighter thief. Uh. I did do his stats wrong. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, let's get an 80 or higher. That'll do fine. Actually, don't need charisma. Cause you only really need one character with charisma. I mean, druids, bards, and paladins, uh, they all rely on this to some extent. But, uh, so do sorcerers, but I don't know if sorcerers in this game. I believe sorcerers take their spells from charisma. A anyway, uh, I... Eh, not as good as it was, but whatever. Charisma is quite useless to me because I don't think any of your defenses are anything. It's just like how well you talk to people. And I believe the game just uses the highest charisma character anyway. So the character with the highest charisma is what is what conversations are dictated by. Uh, they're also what your uh, reputation and rewards are dictated by. So it doesn't really matter. And I talk to them with the character with the highest charisma anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, I like this because I'll have... Uh, Decent bonuses to my will stats with this. And a bit of, uh, uh, lore. I'll explain lore and stuff in a minute. I mean, I just... Doing what I did before. Long sword, short sword. Two up in style. Done. done. Male three. <laughs> yep. And I always call him... I don't know how to uh, get the little thing over the E. Like, the thing in the word flambe. I don't know how to get that thing. There we go. Nestled atop the cliffs that rise from the Sword Coast, the citadel of Candlekeep houses the finest and most comprehensive collection of writings on the face of Farron. It is an imposing fortress, kept in strict isolation from the intrigues that occasionally plague the rest of the Forgotten Realms. It is secluded, highly regimented, and it is home. Within these hallowed halls of knowledge, your story begins. You have spent most of your twenty years of life within this keep's austere walls under the tutelage of the sage Gorion. Acting as your father, he has raised you on a thousand tales of heroes and monsters, lovers and infidels, battles and tragedies. However, one story was always left untold, that of your true heritage. You have been told that you are an orphan, but your past is largely unknown. Lately, Gorion has been growing distant from you, as if some grave matter weighs heavily on his heart. You have asked about his concerns as gently as possible, but your queries have been in vain. Your sole comfort is the knowledge that he is a wise man, and you know he will tell you when the time is right. Nonetheless, his silence is troubling, and you cannot help but feel that something is terribly wrong. Today, Gorion has appeared more agitated than ever. And now he has uncharacteristically interrupted your chores in the middle of the day. Imparting hurried instructions for you to equip yourself for travel, he has handed you what gold he can spare, but given no clue as to why. Nevertheless, you now stand before the Candlekeep Inn, ready to purchase what you need for an unplanned and unexpected journey. What is this, The Hobbit? <laughs> no. No, that's probably a reference to the Hobbit, though. Let me that up 
I am. It is done. I feel like they zoomed this out a little. Ah, crap. And I've got to change this thing. Oh, well. Yeah. Yeah. I've got to change this to make it run in 60 FPS, which will double the speed of the game. It is done. Which technically makes it harder because you have less time to react. But at the same time, it doesn't because you can just auto pause whenever you want. Your concern, uh, actually, indeed. You stay down here. Yes. A simple task. We're gonna go loot everything. Lock pick that. Uh, this is the lock pick skill. Well, it's thieving, whatever. Uh, this is hiding shadows. Stealth. Uh, I'll a simple go toss. over this more. <laughs> Sorry. I'll go over stuff in more detail later. Right now, I just want to get a few things to, uh... Basically... I don't think I can do that unless I need to sit there. That's annoying. There is something really good in here, but I think I need 75 or higher in my, uh, open doors skill. Uh, or open locks. I say open doors because, uh, where is it? Because there's a, where is it? Yeah, here, ability bonuses, open doors. Your strength depends on how well you can just smash a door or a lock open. I believe I can't do this. I can? Oh, that is insane. I am going to be so well prepared. This thing sells for a shit ton of money. I'm actually not going to risk annoying, uh, annoying the guard, then. Dumb and dumb. I would not like to get hit, because I've only got 12 HP. My paladin has 14. Cool. Now I wonder. Yes, you indeed. You talk to him. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. Yeah, not doing that. Eh, I do need stuff, but, uh... See, this sells for a thousand gold, which is insanely... Insanely a lot of money. At this point in the game, anyway. I will be able to buy everything I want for pretty much every character I'm going to get. Uh, I'm probably not going to buy it here, though, because... Mm. Can I increase my reputation before I buy stuff? What is my reputation? Twelve. I think I need to spend three hundred gold to upgrade that. I am here. Oh. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. Well, see, this is why. Uh, uh where is it? Oh yeah, katana six hundred and thirty-five. Even with my charisma at eighteen and my reputation at twelve, it's just not worth buying. Even if you can get that gem. You're go certainly. It is done. Come on, we're going on an adventure. This is one of the reasons I uh, want the game to increase to 60 FPS instead of 30. Even though it would capture at 30, it would still basically convey the idea that it, the game is running at twice speed. Here we go, this is what I want. Now, before I do this, I'm going to save the game, because save scumming is kind of a part of this game. Uh -huh. Save here. Yes? At the same time, they made it less so, because... Where is the gameplay? Uh, where is it? Why is my difficulty so down? I want it normal. Yeah, core rules. You can turn it up and like make everything do double damage, but there's no reason. You don't get any bonus experience. And, and like Icewind Dale games you do, but not here. There is like, and probably in the config files, that uh, the thing. Yeah. What's that? What's that? 
pause. Enemy sighted. Character death. Where is... That's where it's like... Ah, character targets destroyed. Characters target destroyed. I want that so I can just focus on the next character or enemy. The other... If you like click everything, it's basically just a D&D &D game with turn-based combat. I'd say... This... And this. The others kind of like character hit. There's no reason really to do that. End of round. Just there's a reason to do that. Trap found. There's a reason to do that. Spell cast. I don't really see a reason. Character attacked. No real reason. Same as enemy sighted basically. Character injured. Well, you're gonna get injured anyway. Why do you care? Character's death, you want to auto pause so you can just load the game. Is death is really annoying in this game. Later on, it's less so, but especially towards the beginning, you just don't want to die. Feedback, maybe. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Don't really need that. I want to hit rolls. I want actions. I want to state the changes. Miscellaneous is fine. Selection. Yeah, that's all fine. This is a dice-based game, so even though the the uh, actually did I? Yeah, I don't want to end a round uh, because it's kind of fluid combat, but it is turn-based. It just doesn't look like it. It's basically D and D under the uh, advanced Dungeons and Dragons under the hood. Under the hood. Done. Okay, now. Uh, Turn the game. There's an option where you can have max, uh, where is it? max HP per level, which you didn't used to have that option. You had to reload every time if you wanted to get max HP and just keep going. And you had to know how much character I am HP here. you've gotten. You had to do the math. And we liked it. Your concern. It is done. Yeah, it was kind of a pain in the ass, but it was it was okay. Now what These I'm doing here is contain the world's knowledge. Now I want to give him 200 gold and see if that increases my reputation. Come on, there we go. Two, no, not 2,200. Donate. Okay, can I do that again? Yes, I can. I don't want to yes, give him any more certainly. money right now, because it would be 300 for the next uh, reputation gain. Reputation kind of determines how expensive stuff is and how some characters will, characters will react to you. Uh, for, I believe the highest you get is 20. But you can only increase to 18 by just donating money to the church. And it gets progressively more expensive. Like, it'll be 300 for the next two. So it'll be 600 for the next two total. So 300 to 15, 300 to 16. Actually, I think it's 300 to 15, 400 to 16, and then 17 and 18 are both 500. So it gets kind of expensive. It's not a big deal later on when you just have money to spend. But there are also just quests you can do to increase your reputation. I did that so I, I could make things less expensive here and in the My lawn. hotel's as clean as an elven arse. Let's go back to that katana. Huh. Well, I also saw that... Yeah, that's weird. I guess prices don't drop quite yet. Your can certainly. Quite yet. Yes, indeed. I, I know that uh, your reputation and your charisma combined... Determine how much stuff My costs. As clean you as basically an get a arse. hero's discount or a villain's markup. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I just spent a gold. I think I spent a gold. Did I spend a gold? My hotel's as clean yeah, as an elven arse. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'm gonna buy some slint mail for me. And some studded leather for you. I need two helmets. Those. Oh, 
things. Need a large shield. A, uh, I think I put one in both. So we'll get a bastard sword, a long sword, and a short sword. And actually, I'm going to buy two bastard swords. Anything else I need? Not at the moment. <coughs> ah, damn it. Not at the moment. Okay, so bastard sword here, shield here. Because these weapons will break. Eventually. It's a little bit random, but they do break. And there, there. That there. Yep, that's the doorbell and my dog. Well, not my dog. But, uh, the dog. Uh, these I can't sell, so there's no reason to hang on to them. And they do, like... I mean, look at this. 1d6 crushing damage. They're, like, useless. I am here. I might want to hang on to a crushing weapon, though. I don't have anyone who can use them, though. And it's not really pertinent until a little, 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 a little later, anyway. Your concern... My old girl's as clean as an elven arse. So I got my helmets... That. Don't need this any gems. I can't really use missile weapons because none of those are proficient. We take a negative four penalty to hit, to hit if you use a missile weapon and you don't have yes a, or any weapon and you don't have it is done. In it. I am here okay. indeed. So we're basically Your ready. To go. Yes, and indeed. I'm going to show you combat. And that'll probably be it for this video. I'll probably make another one tomorrow. I don't have too much time Indeed. to uh, record these right now because the house is being remodeled. Uh, hopefully he won't get in our way. Okay, good. Hello. Oh, well, I, of I am here. Indeed. There we go. Well, that's not very nice. I'll crush your face, you know, I will. Your concern? Attack. Quote, now I'll, of you course, course you can try and backstab. Attack. Much probably. Ah! Here is... what happened. So... Wow, he rolled a 19 and he missed. Well, he rolled a 19 minus 1 because of my... My, uh, armor, but man, that was insane. He really crit me and he missed. Right. Mm, let's see. That missed. That was a definite hit. Seven damage, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Oops. I got 20 experience for killing him. Now, experience for killing monsters generally isn't as good as the quest. Yes, it is done. And is it tab? Yeah, it's tab. I you hold indeed. tab, you can see what you can interact with. I believe that's Words locked. Now. Done yes, it is. and done. Now, because this is using the Boulder's Gate 2 engine, you get experience for lock, uh, unlocking chests and traps and stuff. You didn't Your use to indeed. in the original Boulder's Gate. I really don't need the uh, gold and stuff to sell here. I'm just doing it because this is the way I play. I just do everything and sell it. Yes, it is done. Because you never know when you need a little extra gold. I am here. Hmm? Did you say something? Yeah. You... Oh, that's my journal. Okay. Yeah, well, it is done. Kind of fault. How much money do I have left over? Hmm. Yes, it is done. Kind of want to keep that. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what I want to do. There are like. 
quests in here, but all of them give you 50 experience. And you need quite a bit of experience to level up. And there's a really good place. I am right. here. Your concern? Like, a few areas to the south, and then one to the west. Yeah, yeah that's right. But at the same time, it is content in the game, and I do want to show it. Well, anyway, I think that's it for now, and uh, I will <laughs> cough. Man, no kidding, I coughed. I'm glad I muted the mic for that. Mm, damn. Anyway, I'm going to save this here. And I'll probably show you how to make this a... Uh, uh, do this single player, because here, I'll show you why uh, multiplayer is a bit kind of a pain, because you have to load the game and click these each time. And single player, you just load the it game is and done. Load the game. I am indeed. Okay. Well, anyway, I'll catch you guys next time. Later.